friends, today we are going to draw the smiling emoji. Yeah, with hearts too. And you need your drawing supplies. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. We always hope you follow along. We're gonna use a pencil, also a marker, and you need a bowl. And we're gonna use this as the template. You don't have to use a bowl if you don't want to, but we also need some paper and something to color with at the end. All right, you ready to start? Yes. We're first gonna use our pencil and we're gonna trace around our bowl. So I turn it upside down and you wanna make sure that you get permission from your parents before you use a bowl for template. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna press down with my left hand on top. I'm gonna to reach all the way around as far as I can. And then I'm gonna press hard so this shows up on the camera, but you guys at home could press lighter so that it doesn't show up as much. Okay, so there you go. Press down with your left hand and then reach around. There you go. And then that makes it easier to do in one motion. Look at that, you did it. All right. Okay, now we're gonna take the bowl and we're gonna move it off to the side. We, we do need it later, but not at the moment. We're gonna switch to our marker and we're gonna draw our hearts first. The first heart we're gonna draw is up here in the top right. Now the first heart, let's draw two dots. We're gonna draw one for the top of our heart and another one for the bottom. So we're gonna start here just outside of the circle and then the other, or the other dot is gonna be straight directly below that one and we're gonna draw it right about here. And we'll add it. two dots about that far away. So the first one's outside and the second one is right below it. Yeah. Now we're gonna draw the heart shape. We're gonna start at the top dot and we're gonna draw the curve that comes around and then we're gonna connect down to the bottom dot. Then we're gonna draw the other side of the heart. We wanna to try to make this look the same on both sides. It's okay if it's slightly different. There you go. Now we're gonna repeat that same step down here on the bottom left, or we could do it straight below. This one we'll draw right here. We're gonna draw a dot just inside the circle, and then we'll draw another one that's outside the circle. And we also wanna to try to make those dots the same space apart from each other. All right, now let's draw the left side of the heart. This is good practice to try to repeat those same steps over and over again. Oh, wow, that was a little, that one's a little different. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna add one more heart on the left side. It's a little higher than this one. We're gonna draw that first dot higher, just inside the circle. And then the bottom one is just outside the circle. Yeah. Then we can repeat those same steps. Curve around, connect to the bottom dot on both sides. Oh, good job. Okay, now let's draw the face. We're gonna draw two curves because the eyes look a little close. Um, first, we could add two dots. We're gonna add these little, the space in between the eyes. That much space, and then we can draw a curve for one eye, and then we'll draw another curve for the other eye that matches. Then let's draw a curve that comes around like this, and then connects to the other side. And we can do the same thing on the right. We'll curve around and connect to the other side. All right, let's do the same thing. Let's do that again, but we're gonna do it a little higher and a little further out. So we'll start here, we'll draw another curve. This is for the eyebrows. So we'll draw that same little curve. Mine's wobbly. Oh, bumpy. <laughs> and then this time, when we draw the curve that comes around, we can make it a little thinner for the eyebrows. Now this one over here is might overlap with the heart, and that's okay if you do. I'm gonna draw it just below the heart. So if you need to, you can go behind the heart and only draw part of the eyebrow. It, yours fits, perfect. Okay, let's come down and we'll draw the smile. We're gonna draw it right here next to the hearts. And then let's draw another curve underneath to make the smile open. 
Good job. Very cute. Let's finish the circle. We're gonna put the bowl back over where we originally had it and line it up. And then we're gonna use our marker instead of our pencil. I think that's close enough. Then I'm gonna press down again and with the marker, I'm gonna start on the heart right here. And I'm gonna curve around until I connect to the heart on the top. And then we'll stop. And then we're gonna start again right here connect to that heart, and then we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Connect the hearts together, like that. Nice. Do you want to do it? Yes. There you go, looks lined up. And then stop on the heart, and then start again, yes, right there. And then one more on the very bottom to connect the two hearts together. All right, good job. Now we can put the bowl completely off to the side since we're done with the bowl. Now we're gonna to switch to our eraser and we're gonna erase the guidelines that go through the heart. We'll do erase it over here on the left. I'm also gonna erase the line. I can see a little bit of the circle down here at the bottom. And we'll erase through that heart and also the top heart. Oh. That's okay. When the markers are still a little wet, they smear, I smeared over here too. I also have a little sweeper we can use to sweep off the eraser shavings. Mrs. Hubs, we did it. We finished drawing our emoji. It looks really cool, except we're not completely done. Nope, we need to color it. Yeah, now this part we're not gonna fast forward. Usually we do, but this time we're gonna talk about our coloring and the different colors that we use. So let's get our colors, we'll pick them out, and then we'll come back. Now we're using biannual markers, and you can purchase these set, the same set from our website. Well, actually, we have links on our website that'll take you over to Amazon. We love these markers, and we're also using marker paper, which we could have mentioned at the beginning of the lesson, but we're using Canson marker paper. We'll leave links to that too. Uh, also with a set of biannual markers, I have this uh, scratch paper that I created, uh, little swatches or samples of the color, and that helps us pick out which colors we want because the caps are not that accurate. The colors that we picked out are Y648. This is for the eyes and the mouth. Also Y107 is our yellow, and R107 is for the hearts. We're also gonna use colored pencils, Prismacolor colored pencils, white and pink. First, let's use our yellow, our Y107, and we're gonna color in our the face, the whole thing. Now, you wanna be careful too, because um, this, if you color over the Sharpie, if you color on top of the Sharpie, it'll smear the Sharpie, and you'll get this big black smudge all the way through. And I'm also gonna add a highlight on my face. So I'm gonna go like this, but you, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm gonna add a little moon shape across the top of the emoji. So this stays white right here. And you don't have to if you don't want it. You can just color it solid and that works too. It's a little easier if you just color it solid. Another thing I try to do when we're using our markers is color fast, but also that sometimes that's a little scarier <laughs> coloring that fast because you might smear it or get it on the Sharpie, color over the Sharpie. So the reason why I color fast is uh, so that it doesn't layer or create a texture. It looks more even. Oh, look at that. I colored over the Sharpie. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna come all the way down here. So when we color fast, that keeps the marker wet before it dries and you can blend it easier so that it looks smooth when you're all done. And it doesn't have that layering or thick uh, little chunks. Oh, did you get the Sharpie? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and as you can see, <laughs> Rob is a lot faster than I am. <laughs> That's all right, it's okay. I'm sure our friends at home might need to pause the video too if you guys need extra time. So. I think my marker's running out. Oh yeah, it is. That's okay, I have an extra one here. Your marker is running out and I will, oh, look at that. I got a big old Sharpie mark right in the middle of my face. Okay, let me get 
Let me, here, you can just use this one. This one's still juicy. Here, switch me. Okay. There you go. And I'll get you a brand new one too. Here, use this one instead. This one has a lot more juice. Okay. And, oh no, which one was yours? Oh, it was this one. I'll just put it up there so we don't use it again. I'm gonna go back over some of my spots to smooth out the texture so it looks really solid. There we go. I kind of like it when we make mistakes or little whoopsies. And uh, because it's kind of fun to try to figure out how to fix them or make them work with the drawing. And then when we're all done, it, actually you don't really see the mistakes or maybe what you think are mistakes. Other people don't realize that there's even a mistake there, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Look at this big old mark right here. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, now while you're doing the yellow, keep going, it's okay. I'm gonna go on to the next step. It's not gonna be that complicated. I'm just gonna to switch to my Y648 and I'm gonna color in the eyes and also the eyebrows and the mouth. In the past, we've fast forwarded this part and we got so many requests. Like, how did you color it? Don't fast forward. <laughs> So I thought it would be fun if we started um, in our new lessons to not fast forward this part and talk more about how we're coloring and what we're doing to get the look when we're all finished. It also gives me a chance to talk to you more, which I like doing. You're concentrating, I can I tell. Am very hard. <laughs> I don't do this as often, so I... It's good. <laughs> I'd... You're not used to the multitasking. No, it's and like talking. second nature for you. And... <laughs> not at all for You're me. probably like, stop talking. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> That's okay. I just. Oh, maybe our art friends at home want to turn the volume down when I <laughs> when I, we're coloring so that they can focus maybe. too. Yeah, you're doing good. Keep going. I'm trying to hurry. No, it's okay. You don't You don't have to hurry. Now, some of the parts we might fast forward, especially if you take really long. <laughs> Good job. You did it. You colored in all of the yellow. Do you want to switch to your brown now? Yeah. Your Y648, this color right here. Okay. And you could color in the eyes, the mouth, and the eyebrows. All right, now you've got the eyes and also the mouth colored in. We're at the same spot. Oh, I also like your highlight. Okay, let's switch to our red marker. This is R107. And we're gonna do the same thing that we kind of did with the top of our emoji face. We're gonna leave a little highlight. So first, let's trace around. So we'll, we'll trace around the heart with a little border. We'll do this one first down here in the bottom left. And trace around it like that. And then, yeah, just like that. Then we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a shape, kind of a moon shape like we did on top of the, on top of the emoji head. And we're gonna do another moon shape over here on this bump. And then we can color in the bottom part. So leave those two little slivers of white at the top. We can color it in. So you can turn your marker, it's because it has that bevel edge, you can turn the marker to get a little detail, and then you can use the flat part to color in the bigger spaces. All right, let's repeat that same step up here, and also for the other, well, for both of the hearts, right? We're gonna repeat that, we'll come all the way around and add a border. And then I'm gonna draw that little sliver of white for the highlight. And we'll do the same on the right side and then color in the bottom part. Yeah. Oh, you're doing such a great job. Thank you. And I'm gonna come down here. We'll do the same thing on the bottom one. I love drawing emojis. We need to draw a lot more emojis. I like emojis. Yes. 
We need to draw all of the animals and then also all of the faces. We have quite a few faces still left to do. You know, the one I, I really want to draw is the one with the head exploding and also the one that the one that's throwing up. Those, ah. are, <laughs> those are like my two two most favorite emojis. Yeah, some of the <laughs> some of our friends might not want to draw those. Okay, so you got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's switch to our white colored pencil. And we're gonna, so these are really sharp edges. And we can use our colored pencil to go back over it and lightly blend the edge at the very bottom. So you can press really hard towards uh, on the white spot, on the white uh, paper that's showing through. And then lightly come down, get lighter and lighter towards the bottom. I'm also gonna connect. I think that'll look better if these are a little bigger and they connect towards the middle of the heart, like that. I also like turning my paper sideways, sometimes that helps. Look at that, it looks really cool. So yeah, you can get lighter, press lighter and lighter towards the bottom. Okay. You did it. Let's do the same thing, we can practice that same technique over here. So I got really dark and then lighter towards the bottom. It's not really dark, it's actually, you're just pressing harder and then lighter, pressing lighter towards the bottom. So this is the same technique we use when we're shading, but we're actually using it for uh, the highlights. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, come up here, press really hard, and then lightly come down. Press hard, more firm, and then lighter towards the bottom. Now I'm going to do that same technique over the yellow and this might not show up as much on camera but hopefully you can see a little bit of the highlight coming down. So I'm going to press really hard towards the top and we're going to go around the eyebrow too. So we'll come down here around the eyebrow, come down a little further and towards the eyes right here where they're closed, that's where I'm going to stop blending or coloring. There we go. Oh, that looks really cool. That looks really cute. Okay, now let's use our white uh, colored pencil. I'm gonna add a little highlight on the bottom to make the eyes look more 3D and also on the bottom of the mouth. There we go. Oh, I know what we need to add next. Let's switch to our pink colored pencil and we're gonna start by adding a pink circle right here next to the eye. I'm gonna press kind of hard like that. So we've got a little dot. And then as we go, we're gonna make this bigger. But as we make it bigger, we're gonna press lighter and lighter so it blends out. This is the, you know, when you're embarrassed, your cheeks kind of turn red. I think that's what this is. Somebody said they love this emoji and then it got embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Yeah, let's do the same thing over here. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Press really hard for the center of the cheek or the blush on the cheek, what, rosy cheeks. And then as you get bigger and bigger, press lighter until it fades completely away. This one I made really big. I think I'm gonna come back over to the other side and do the same thing, make it bigger. We're gonna use our uh, warm gray. This is a really light warm gray, WG03. And we're gonna add a little shadow. That's not it. Oh, do you have it? Oh, yeah. there you go. Yes, WG03. And we're gonna add a little shadow right here underneath the heart. This is gonna make it look more 3D. So we're gonna just add a little shadow like that. Then it looks like the heart is floating in front of the face. Then we can come down here, we'll add another shadow. 
Here I'm going to start close to the heart and then get further away towards the bottom. Yeah, and then one more shadow on this heart over here on the left. Got really close to the heart and then further away towards the bottom. We did it, Mrs. Hubs. We finished drawing our emoji and you did a great job. Thank you. I love your drawing very much. Thank you. Did you have fun? I did. Promise? Yes. And we hope you had a lot of fun too. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.